CBS 2 News at 11 and CBS 10 Los Angeles begins with breaking news. A deadly shark attack in the Bahamas claims the life of a young woman from Torrance. And tonight, her loved ones are reacting to the heartbreaking news. Yeah, the deadly attack happened today off the coast of Rose Island near Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in Torrance with details on this breaking story and heartbreaking story, Rachel. Definitely Pat and Jeff, according to the family's GoFundMe page, the victim of this attack was 21-year-old Jordan Lindsay of Torrance. Her family lives in this neighborhood. Now on that GoFundMe page that was started to raise money for travel and funeral expenses, her family described Lindsay as a beloved daughter and sister who had the most beautiful and gentle soul. They add she will be missed deeply. Now the shark attack happened in the waters near Rose Island, an 11-mile stretch of beach off the coast of Nassau. Police there say Lindsay Lindsay was attacked by sharks while snorkeling with her family. They say there were three sharks involved. They bit her all over her body and severed her right arm. Her parents and other family members were reportedly with her during the snorkeling expedition this afternoon. Family members saw the sharks and yelled, trying to warn her, but she did not hear them in time. Lindsay was taken to a hospital and was later pronounced dead. She is expected to undergo an autopsy in Nassau. The brother of another woman who was there posted this on Twitter tonight. He said, for those asking, my sister is okay. She was in the water today when a snorkeler was attacked and killed by a tiger shark in the Bahamas. My sister is a doctor and was with the family of the deceased. Terrible. Here is a picture of the shark left side. Back here in Torrance tonight, we spoke to neighbors of the Lindsay family after they heard the news. My heart is pounding. I cannot believe it. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna go through this. I can't even imagine if I lost them, you know? Yeah. The Ministry of Tourism of the Bahamas said in a statement, the Ministry of Tourism on behalf of the government and the people of the Bahamas expresses its condolences and deepest sympathies to the family and loved ones of the victim of Wednesday's shark attack off Rose Island near New Providence. The U.S. Embassy is working with Bahamian officials to get Lindsay's body back to Southern California. Reporting live tonight in Torrance, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.